Okay, we're going to be working on a 2012 uh, F30 BMW 3 Series here. And if I walk around, um, this car is a few years old, so I don't know if you can see it very well on the video, but yeah, you can see that's all kind of deteriorated there on this um, uh, windshield cowl. Uh, so I bought a replacement, and uh, I'm going to take a stab at uh, replacing it here. I didn't find any other DIY videos online, so hopefully this is useful to some other people. Um, okay, so to start, we're going to need to remove the windshield wipers. As you can see, I've already uh, marked, um, well, you can see there, I've already marked the windshield wiper positions uh, so that they're easy to reposition when I'm putting them back on. And I actually marked uh, the left one just so I don't have to think about which one's left or right later. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove this little cap. And underneath, you're going to see a bolt. That is a 16 millimeter bolt. So the first thing I'm gonna do is loosen that bolt. And once you have these bolts removed, we're gonna use a uh, two jaw puller. So I have, uh, once I get that off, this is a two jaw puller. It's been uh, borrowed from uh, AutoZone. Thanks for letting us do that. As you can see, it can be uh, used in three position or a two jaw here. So I have it set up for two jaw. Um, and uh, so what you're gonna end up doing when you're ready to do that is you'll clamp the two pieces around the windshield wiper uh, arm and, and then you'll tighten down on this right on the stud there and it should eventually pop off. So we'll do that in a minute. Okay, so as it turns out, this thing's uh, way too big for the little slot in this car. Um, so what I'm trying to do is angle it and get it as close to the center point as possible. But um, what I did is tighten it down to about finger tight here. I'm trying to get as much pressure as I can on it. And then I'm going to come in with my socket wrench, try to increase the pressure. Hopefully it'll pop off without breaking anything. sliding off to the side. So it looks like the most important thing is to try to keep this pin centered so you can get pressure on it. Okay, so it looks like it's slipped enough that I may be able to wiggle it off. So I'm just going to lift up and kind of wiggle from here and sure enough, yep. Okay, so that's a little bit of a challenge, but it can be done. Um, you can see that there's little teeth that we're going to need to align. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're going to need to align those when we put it back on. Um, but again, the tape's going to help us to do that. Okay, so now that the uh, wiper arms are out of the way, uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to remove this piece. But as you can see, there's some fasteners here and um, I wasn't really sure with how this thing attaches. So uh, since I couldn't find any DIY videos for this specific model, uh, what I did was looked up uh, an E90, which is uh, maybe close, but anyway, I still didn't find anything. So the next thing you can do uh, when you don't have any info like this is to take the new part and look at uh, how the fasteners are on here and flip it over and you can actually see that it's a little latch like that that turns. Uh, so inside of here there's a little five millimeter uh, Allen head I believe and um, so we'll get started on that. Okay, so once all the Allen heads are uh, loosened, all these fasteners, uh, you can go ahead and loosen these as well. These are a 10 millimeter. Okay, so once you have all of the uh, respective fasteners loose here, you can go ahead and start uh, trying to pull this piece out, but you're going to have to remove a couple things here. And in the corner, 
on each side, on each end, you're, there's a little plug right here. Um, you can pretty much remove it with any body panel tool. I just use something that looks like that and you're able to just kind of get under it and pop it out. But don't lose it because you're going to need it at the end. Uh, so, like I said, you can just start pulling these pieces out. So these are separate pieces here. Um, they just unplug right there, slide it out of the way. You can do the same on the same on the other side. Slide them out. Kind of make note of how they were sitting in here before you pull them out. It's always a good idea. Okay, so everything's been removed. So with any luck here, hopefully this thing should slide on out. and destroyed okay so while I have this stuff off I'm pretty OCD so I'm gonna clean out uh, all that little rubber junk and clean this area while I have it open and then uh, once I have that done we can go ahead and reinstall the uh, new piece so see how that looks and now that my window is clean I can uh, go ahead and start trying to fit this back into position so I'm going to be a little bit more careful with this one than I was with the last because the last one was obviously a throwaway. So um, I take a little bit more time to do it this way. Okay, now that I've got that all started, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, reinstall these side panels. Make sure you line them right here to the front first. And then position this back piece. Make sure that uh, this thing's all seated under properly. This one looks pretty good to go. Same thing on this side. Okay, so I went ahead and reinstalled the wiper arm there. So uh, the trick there was to uh, kind of get it aligned. Definitely the, the tape was very useful. Get it aligned, kind of wiggle it, and get it to seat down a little bit. And then just tighten it up with the uh, socket wrench, uh, and, and it pretty much goes right back into place. And then throw the cap back on, and you're good to go. So I'm going to do that over here on the other one and I'll be uh, pretty much done here. So um, I would definitely say that the hardest part of this job was uh, getting the wiper arms off because the tool I was using was a little bit too big. So if you can find a smaller one, that would help. Uh, and then second to that, uh, just be careful when you're dealing with the corners of this piece in the um, upper part of the assembly there. Uh, it's just a little bit tricky, so take your time there. Um, make sure that these are all uh, in the quarter turn position, whether you're taking them on or off. One of them was spun too far. I could see that someone before me had broken it. Uh, and then, um, yeah, as you're securing these back on, make sure that you're pressing down against uh, this piece so that it's actually seating under whatever it grabs onto back there so you don't have any bulges or gaps over here. Um, and yeah, if you have any other questions, uh, just let me know. Uh, I don't think I pointed this out, but I took those pieces off of the um, old piece and just popped them back on, so that was pretty easy. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, just comment below. I uh, hope this was helpful to anyone out there that was looking for it.